Hello everyone. Today we will learn about pronouns. Now what are pronouns? Pronouns are words that are used in place of nouns. They are used to avoid repetition. Repetition of nouns. Pronouns are also called as friends of nouns. Let's see the example. Mary is in 5th standard. Mary studies well. Students like Mary. We can see that Mary is being repeated again and again. In the first sentence we should write the name. But then to avoid a repetition of nouns again and again. We can use pronouns in place of the noun. The pronoun for Mary is she. Mary is in 5th standard. She studies well. The students like Mary. In place of Mary, we, now Mary is in object's place. So we can write her over here. Now, Mary is in 5th standard. She studies well. Students like her. She and her are pronouns used over here. It gives a good glance of the sentences. There are many kinds of pronouns but today we learn personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, reflexive pronoun, emphatic pronoun and demonstrative pronouns. First kind which we will study is personal pronouns. As the name suggests personal pronouns are used for persons. Now in a speech there are three kinds of persons. First person the speaker that means one who speaks. For that, if it is used in subject's place, for singular we write I, for plural we write we. Second person, that means the listener, one who listens. For that, for singular and plural both we write you. Third person, that means about whom we are talking. For singular, the pronouns are in he, she, it in the subject's place. For plural, we write they. Now, first person, if it is used in the object's place, that means if it is placed after the verb, the pronoun for the first person singular is me. For plural, it is us. For you, it is same. For he, we write him. For she, her. For it, it is written as it is and for they, we use them. Let's revise once again. The personal pronouns are used for persons. There, in a speech, there can be three persons. First person, the speaker, one who speaks. For the speaker, first person, in singular, we write I. For plural, we write we. If it is used in object's place, we write me for I. That means for the first person singular and for plural we write us. Second person who is the listener for that whether it is singular or plural both we write you. Same goes in the object's place also. Third person that means about whom we talk for singular in the subject's place he, she, it and in the object's place him, her, it. For plural, we write they in the subject's place and in the object's place, them. Let's see some examples. I am tired. Here we can see I is written. I is in the subject's place and the pronoun is I. I refers to me. You are clever. Again, you is used in subject's place. We can see you is used for second person. Teacher called him. Here the doer of the action is teacher and the person is used in the object's place. That is why I have written him over here. Mother bought a gift for me. Here again me is in object's place and we write me for the pronoun. Now let's see what are possessive pronouns. As the name suggests, possessive means possession. Its possessive pronouns are used to show belongingness. Now we have already studied what are personal pronouns. In the same order we learn what are possessive pronouns or how possessive pronouns are written for first person, second person, third person. For I, the, the possessive pronoun is mine. And for we, the possessive pronoun we use is ours. 
for you the possessive pronoun is yours for he we write his for uh, she we write hers and there is no possessive pronoun for it we do not write anything for it for they we write theirs here i'll put a blank we do not write anything over here now let's see some examples the pen is mine it shows belongingness as in hindi we say ye meri hai ye pen meri hai so the pen is mine this dress is yours that means the dress belongs to you the yellow house is theirs the house which is yellow is theirs it belongs to them that bag is his the next pronoun which we learn are reflexive pronouns now reflexive pronouns are used to reflect the nouns or pronouns one thing which we need to always remember is reflexive and emphatic pronouns the forms of both of them are same but the uses are different reflexive pronouns are always written after the verbs let's see what are reflexive pronouns for first person reflexive pronoun which we use is myself myself for we the reflexive pronoun what we use is ourselves as it is a plural we do not write self we write selves for you the reflexive pronoun if it is a singular person we write yourself if it is used for plural we write yourselves for the third person the reflexive pronoun which we use for him uh, or he is himself herself for she or a female singular for it we write itself and for they or plural in the third person we write themselves let's see once again for i we write myself for we we write ourselves for you if it is in singular place we write yourself if it is in plural we write yourselves if it is for singular male third person we write himself for female singular third person we write herself for it we write itself and for they or the third person plural we write themselves here are sorry, some examples the first one i saw myself in the mirror now we can see i also over here and myself also as we have studied earlier i is the pronoun that means personal pronoun used in subject's place myself is reflecting i you can see it is written after the verb myself is reflecting i and so this is reflexive pronoun mohan hurt himself here himself is written for mohan it is written after the verb so himself is reflexive pronoun over here they enjoyed themselves again themselves is reflecting they so themselves is reflexive pronoun over here now let's learn emphatic pronouns emphatic pronouns are used to emphasize a noun or a pronoun to put a stress on a noun or a pronoun the forms of the verbs which we use are same for reflexive and emphatic i had also mentioned this earlier the words are same myself ourselves yourself yourselves himself herself itself themselves now let's see the examples i myself told the truth here myself is putting a stress on the pronoun i it is emphasizing the pronoun i in the reflexive pronoun the words were written the pronoun was written after the verb here it is directly written after the noun or pronoun students themselves cleaned the school again themselves it is putting a stress on the noun students we want to emphasize that students did it themselves if i say the students cleaned the school themselves that means it becomes reflexive pronoun but here students themselves cleaned the school here themselves is emphasizing students and it is called as 
emphatic pronoun we ourselves saw the king again ourselves is emphasizing the pronoun we and thus it is called emphatic pronoun let's revise the whole table once again personal pronoun there are three persons first person second person third person in the subject's place for the personal pronoun we write i we in the object's place we write me us for possessive pronoun for first person singular we write mine for first person plural we write ours again if we see reflexive and emphatic pronouns for first person the emphatic and reflexive pronouns used are myself ourselves same way second person in the subject's place you in the object's place you for personal pronoun for possessive pronoun we write yours for reflexive and emphatic pronoun if it is second person singular we write yourself and if it is second person plural then we write yourselves third person singular in the subject's place for personal pronoun we write he she it in the object's place we write him her it in the possessive pronoun for he we write his for she we write hers and there is nothing written as its for reflexive pronoun and emphatic pronoun for he we write himself for she we write herself for it we write itself and third person plural in personal pronoun subjects place they in objects place them for possessive pronoun we write theirs and reflexive pronoun themselves now let's learn what are demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns are used to point out objects that means nouns there are four examples of demonstrative pronouns this that these those this is used for singular nouns which are near that is also used for singular noun which is far these is used for plural nouns which are near those are uh, those is again used for plural nouns which are far let's see some examples this is a book here it shows that the book is near and it is singular so we write this is a book demonstrative pronouns are always written before the verb this is a book here this is demonstrative pronoun that was a beautiful scene that shows that the scene was far away or it is already gone so and it is singular so that was a beautiful scene here that is demonstrative pronoun these are your gifts the gifts are near and because it is plural we write these those are new pictures again those is pointing out the new pictures that is why those is demonstrative pronoun so four examples of demonstrative pronouns are this that these those let's recapitulate whatever we have studied till now here i have taken in second person as the pronoun and let's see you are intelligent here you is in subject's place you is referred for a person second person and it is in subject's place so it is personal pronoun people helped you here again you refers to a person and it is used in object's place it is also a personal pronoun this class is yours it shows belongingness that the class belongs to you so here it is possessive pronoun you complete the work yourself again you is second person and it is referring a person so it is personal pronoun used in subject's place yourself or again reflects you the pronoun you and thus it is called reflexive pronoun and please always remember reflexive pronouns are always written after the verb 
you yourself is responsible for the loss you can see in the above example also we had you and yourself in this example also we have you and yourself but the places differ and with the places the uses also differ here we can see yourself is written exactly after the pronoun it is emphasizing or stressing the pronoun you and so it is called as emphatic pronoun and the last example that is your responsibility it is pointing out the abstract noun responsibility that is your responsibility and that over here is demonstrative pronoun i hope the video is very helpful to you all thank you